I'm with Sean from Atma. Today we're going to be doing some testing on exhaust fans. Are we getting what's being marketed? Okay, so Sean, so this is going to be a video where we cover exhaust fans, what they're advertising and what they're actually doing. We did a previous video where we were testing all different types of fans, axial, centrifugal and inline. We're going to start off with centrifugal. This was a very common fan, not sure how common it is now, but one thing that blows my mind about exhaust fans is when I see big gaping holes into the fan. Let's test this, let's see what sort of flow it achieves, and then let's see what's actually going on when you put it in the real world. Sounds good. All right, Sean, so you've just powered it on. Let's have a look what this is doing. So any restricted airflow in the house will just force more and more air to be exhausted directly from the roof, straight through this exhaust fan. So this it looks like crazy. there's a lot of leakage in the housing itself. So it's drawing yeah. air not from the house, yes. but from the attic. It's yep. not doing anything good, yep. not helping anything. This fan will fill up with insulation fibers in no time. Sure. Let's pull it down and check the airflow. Okay, so we're measuring this with a powered flow hood. That's gonna give pretty accurate reading of how much its flow is. We get 121 cubic meters an hour with no ducting attached. So we're gonna put on some, some ducting. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put on some ducting on this and see how does that affect the performance. So this is a realistic length of duct. It's about five meters here. And often you're gonna see in real life, lots of kinks and bends and extra length that doesn't need to be there. So we're gonna put this on and test it again. And we'll see how much the airflow is affected. We were at 121 cubic meters an hour before with five meters of duct on it. We're now at 98. So not a huge penalty. Okay, so this fan advertises 28 watts, it's using 25 watts, so that is accurate. So the flow on the box, this said it moved, what, 320? 320 cubic meters an hour? Yep. This is actually moving more like 121, so a little more than a third of what it says on the box. But 100 ducted. Yeah. Yeah. So when, it's, when you add duct work in real life, that also affects performance. So about a third of what's on the box. Okay, Sean, now we're gonna start off with this axial fan. Now this one is pretty spectacular and it's pretty premium. It's got an inbuilt mechanical damper. So the air tightness of that doesn't look too bad. After around about 60 seconds, it starts to close up on its own once power has been isolated. So let's just, I mean, I can't see really any leakage points where this is gonna leak from the roof. So let's just test this for air flows right now. Okay, so the damper's opened up. So it's pulling 273 cubic meters an hour with no ducting attached. So what does it say on the box? Uh, 285. 285, so this yep. is operating pretty close to the box. Yep, what it's been advertised. And the energy use from it is 25 watts. 25 is, watts. Yeah, no I think they marked it at 26, so that's fine. So now with the ducting attached. We're getting 112 cubic meters an hour. So less than half of what it was getting before wow. and about a third of what's on the box. All right, now let's move on to an Energy Star rated fan. So John, you just asked, is this running? Because yeah. it's so quiet. Yeah. It's so quiet. The and flow hood's louder. On the nameplate, it says it's supposed to be delivering 158 cubic meters an hour. Wow. In real life, it's delivering 162 cubic meters an hour without a duct. So it's very close to nameplate capacity. 132 cubic meters an hour. So it is affected, but not by a half mm. like one of the other fans. Yep. All right, so Sean, we proved that there's a couple of fans that have got issues here. We've tested a good fan. Let's go back to the axial fan and we'll see how much a restriction on the door supplying air with it being ducted, how much of an effect that has. Unfortunately though, with this test, someone's gonna have to go in the box. <laughs> All right. So let's see what that I'll looks like. I'll do it like. this time. So Sean, we got in the box, we took some flow hood readings inside the box with the restriction, with no door vent, with a door vent. 
just to see if it made much of a difference to the airflow. What, what were our findings? So without the door vent, mm. with just a door undercut, your flow is at 118 cubic meters an hour. Yeah. But adding the door vent improved the performance by 15%, yeah. up to 136 cubic meters an hour. So it does add capacity to have more makeup air for that, for that vent. All right, so I mean, there's restriction on both sides. You know, we need to run ducts by code, but then we also need to make sure that we're feeding it air. But it's a bit of a balance, isn't it? So if you're restricting it too much on one side, then you have to allow it make up air on the other side too. Yeah, makeup air is always important and installation is always key for any, any duct installation. Gotta have nice straight ducts with as few bends as possible, not excess duct length. Don't just take the, the duct out of the box. If it's a five meter length out of the box and you only need two meters, yeah. cut it down to two meters yep. and only use that because the extra duct length just hurts performance. And we need more fans to come from the States. So of the fans we tested, the only one that was actually performing anywhere near its, its uh, advertised capacity was one that comes from a long lineage of uh, Energy Star bath fans in the US. So uh, if you're looking for just a basic recommendation for what's a good brand, what's one that's been tested and proven to work efficiently and for continuous use, just Google Energy Star bath fan and there's listings of hundreds of qualified models. We'll put a link to that in this video. But also, I mean, we hit it with some smoke behind. Compared to the other fans, there was hardly no smoke that got sucked into the unit itself up in the roof. This is insane. Like we've got so many exhaust fans that have just got gaping hole openings to the roof. Yep, absolutely. Mm. And the reason is that extra leakage doesn't do anything prefer for performance yeah. just is a waste of waste yeah. of energy waste of energy and affects the longevity